So we're just coming out of Molyneux after what a lot of, if you're a neutral, what a hell of a game that was. Sure I mean, was you're, you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out, yeah, you shake you're it all down. about, you're up, you're down. And in the end, we've lost the game four goals to three to Manchester United. Dad, your instant thoughts after that game? I don't know what to make out of it, David. But Wolves have got a lot of bottle in them tonight. They play. They don't deserve to lose. I think he could have, could have got away with the draw, but it didn't happen. So up the Wolves. Stanley, your thoughts? That's me. Oh, I don't know. We we lost it in the first half, really. I mean, we do that. We don't get that first half kicked off early enough. We still making our decisions too late you need to push on and watch it so I don't know it's to me it was a funny funny match uh, but I mean the resolve that they've got to come back to 3-3 three, three and then like that last one I mean that's got to be a killer hasn't it for them it's a, it's an absolute sucker punch it's tough to take but that's uh, as they say it's football uh, story of the game well, let's start at the very beginning. I thought we were we had a bit of an hangover from the weekend. I thought we started slow at the weekend in the FA Cup match against uh, against Albion. I thought we started slow again tonight. It was an habit that we had a, a couple of months ago, and we don't want to fall back into that habit of giving teams a goal start. Uh, all the goals for United came at just the right time for them. Uh, it had to be Marcus Rashford, didn't it? Mm. Uh, with everything that's gone around him, but he was left completely on his own, unmarked, and he, you know. He finished it top bin. Saar had no no chance with it. Wolves just started to get themselves back into the game and nicked the ball away. And then, bang, called us at the other end again. It's a scrambled goal at the near post. 2 0 down. Um, and we got to half time 2 0. Second half, I thought we grew into the game. I thought United were always a danger. Uh, you know, always a danger. We were leaving ourselves open at times. Saar made one crucial save. Um, they had a couple of goals disallowed in the first half and then we started to tighten the screw and pushing them back and we got the penalty although VAR had to go and check it again and wait another minute uh, we converted the penalty 2-1 thought right they were on top we nearly made it literally nearly made it 2 all just oh, yeah, after yeah. and then just after that United again just after we scored got back in front from a corner disappointing to concede from a set piece we haven't conceded many from set pieces this year and uh, at 3-1 you know a couple of people left and uh, we obviously will stay to the end uh, and then we're still carrying on it's like the 86 87th minute I think Dawson's flicked it round off a, you know come out from a, from a set piece and Kilman's turn and got it in got it right Kilman 3-2 right. and you know we're buzzing all over and we're all over them and then like you know, Man United is still pushing forward, but it's a great counter. It's a brilliant counter. And Pedro Neto does Pedro Neto things again. But in bottom corner, it's the it's 90 plus 5 or 90 plus 6 of the 9 minutes. It's 3-3. Three, three. And I'll tell you what, this team at 3-3, three, three, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you for a fact, they think they're gonna they go they wanna go and win it 4-3, and I think that's cost us it a little bit in the in the, the game yeah. in the end. They were so keen to get the ball back right. off United. And, uh, you know, it, I've got to say, the young lad that came on, it's a fantastic goal. It's a, he's 18-year-old. It's a fantastic goal, but he should never have got through into the box. Sometimes you take one for the team. He should have been stopped. But it's a great finish. And literally, it's a sucker punch right at the end. And it's a killer. But you know what? The, the, Wolves, the Wolves players are out on their feet. But the one thing that I'm taking out of this is they have got fight. They do not give in. No, they play no, for no, each no, other. No, no, and fight. although we've lost the game, you can take a lot of positives out of this because this is a team that you can be proud of and they will fight for the badge. They will fight for the shirt and they will fight for each other and they will fight for the fans, Dad. Well, well said, Davey. Well said. I agree with every word you said. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> Man Manchester, they, they just packed in the... The substitutions at the end, fresh legs, and our guys were still fighting, although they were complete. I mean, some of them, you could see them, they were tired. And when the final goal went in, then you could see the deflation in them. But I tell you what, even when the final went gone, they still had another go to yeah. try and get it back to but four all. Look, you see the deflation in them, let me finish, then all of a sudden, they're up and they're, and they're facing the goal again. You know, so 
good on them. And I tell you what, you know, I don't know whether the players or or anyone watches this, or you know, the, from the from the club. But for me, don't take, don't get too down about this defeat, because although we've lost the game, you know, you've you've won heart, you've got heart, and if you keep going like that and you keep that belief and you keep that fight, this is a team that's go, that's gonna that's gonna do something. And United, you know, they were on it tonight after the thing. They they, they played well. I, you know, that at times it was a little bit easy for them in the first half. We gave them too much space. But we fought back and they were literally, it was like two boxers at the end, on the ropes, slugging punches. And if you're a neutral, it's a great game. If you're a Manchester United fan, it's probably going to go down as a Man United classic. If you're a Wolves fan, it's hard to take. But I'm still very, very proud of them. I'm still very, very proud of them. Um, your Lee Moore Windows man of the match, mate, and why? Hmm. I think... They all deserve it in real terms, but I'll give it to Cunha because he had a he had a go at them, like um, yeah, Cunha, so, Cunha, yeah. And your Fox at Shipley performance rating out of ten, and why? The first half, ooh, five, you know, really, if that's been generous. The second half, I don't know, good seven, you know, if not eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your overall score? You do, you do, it, you do the maths. That's what's what your it? overall score? Overall score, yeah, we'll give them, yeah, we'll give them a seven overall. A seven Four overall. Minutes. Dad, you'll leave more windows man of the match and why? Gilman. Because he got a goal. Because he got a goal and he kept them together and they all played well. And I'll give him uh, an eight. So your Fox at Shipley performance ratings an eight? An eight, yeah. OK, that, then it's to me, isn't it? I'm going to give my Lee Moore Windows Man of the Match to Matthias Kuhner. He's been close with me a few times. I thought, you know, it's hard to pick one. Samada was good, Kilman was good. I'm going to give it to Kuhner tonight just because he has that heart um, and he kept playing. He's, and, he, you know, he's always trying to make something happen. Pedro Neto again. I mean, it's it's tough to pick one out, but we've got to put for someone, so we're going to go for Kuhner. Yeah. Um and my Fox at Shifley performance rating, I thought the first half was a six. I thought the way we played in the second half was probably a nine um, in terms of how we played. We've lost the game, yeah. Uh, I want to give them an eight, and I think I would have done if we'd have got a point. I'm going to knock half a point off a 7.5 for the overall performance. But, like, oh... oh. 7.75 I'm going to go with. 7.75, <laughs> why not? We'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, anyway, I, I want to give him, I so want to give him an well, 8. Give I'm going to give, sevens. do you know what? 7.77. Oh, we could do, I could do. Uh, guys, leave your thoughts in the in the comment section below. I'm, you know, I'm proud of this team yeah, at the moment. Right. We've well, lost I'm at right. Molyneux. Yeah. We've scored at Molyneux for the 18th game in a row as well, which is, I think, a record since 1968 in the top fright or something like that. It's crazy. Uh, we've lost the game, but we've won so much more tonight, even though we've lost the game. Yeah. We've won a lot more, and this team, okay. just keep believing. Places, we're going to end up in the top four. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> come on. That ain't, that, calm, yeah, calm, can, top four. No, a dream. Maybe we'll end up at Wembley. Definitely. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Anyway, from uh, myself, Sensation, and Magic Moss, Oh he used God, to be so on. negative, but now he's so optimistic. <laughs> well, you know, you're optimistic, aren't you? I'm more than you're optimistic. Trouble, I told you we're going to end in the top four. <laughs> Dad. No, we, well, we do, but, they, did, they did play well tonight, David. Uh, and I, and they deserve to lose, really, but that's the way it goes. That's, so. that's football. That's you know, football. if you're a Man United fan watching this, uh, do you agree or disagree? There will be a match vlog, of course. Um, and anyway, until the next one, from all of us, because the producer's hands getting very, very cold. Always wolves. Always.